Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video on JavaScript. And in this video, we are going to talk about top 15 deep down aspects about JavaScript, which you should be aware about. Okay. So in last couple of videos, I'm talking about proto prototype, how the inheritance works in JavaScript in terms of functions, how to write classes, how they are different from the functions. Okay. All these aspects we have covered. So top 15 things. Uh, so first we'll talk about the prototype, right? In, in previous couple of videos, we have already covered this in depth. Like you just create simple functions and then you can actually create a prototype for the functions. So like function is a bike. Okay. It is taking some argument like model and color. Okay. And then we will see how you can create an object from this function and how you can add a prototype properties. Simple, uh, this dot color, right? And now what you can do is you can add other properties also in this, this dot get more detail. This is a simple example we are adding. This is the function we are adding. And this function is doing nothing but a returning details about the bike. This dot model plus this dot color. I mean, you can concat it in your own way. So this is the function we have created. Now, how do how we'll create an object using new keyword, new bike, and you will pass the model. Model is okay, BMW. And your bike color is black. Right, this is how we are creating the object. So we have already talked about these things, what this new keyword does, right? It is creating the object and it is setting the context of this object to this, right? All the properties will get initialized model color. And now you can actually access the get details method, right? So this object, so currently whatever this context this function is having whatever this context this function is having so that is pointing to this object okay so object dot at detail so you will have already this dot model and this dot color right similarly how you can add a prototype onto this prototype adding a prototype to a function is simple now we start adding a classes right earlier we used to have you we used to create these prototype functions only Right. So instead of creating it in, in the function, we can add it in the prototype. So now if you are creating n number of objects, if you are creating n number of objects like object two, object three, all objects will have this get details. So it is like a shared prototype copy that will be shared among all the objects which you are creating for bike function. Okay. All these objects will have a proto property now we have already seen this thing like object dot proto this we have already discussed that is equal to the bike dot prototype right so the proto of this i mean the proto of this object is pointing to it it is same as the prototype of this function so the proto of this object is pointing to the prototype of a function from which this object is created. Okay. This is very simple example. Okay. So now we can talk about the classes in JavaScript. So now with the ES6, now we can write classes also. So earlier we created a bike as a function. Now we can create a class, same class like class bike, which can have a constructor instance method, static method and all. So this is the class bike, which is so now with the help of ES6, you can write the classes in JavaScript. Okay, so we are writing constructor and same you can add methods. Like this constructor is taking the same argument, color and brand. And here you will set both the properties. 
and this dot brand and in the just recent videos we talked about how this class is, is nothing but a syntactic sugar on top of the functions here I have this function what this function is returning is just the details about this particular bike so this dot color plus this dot brand this sorry okay and how we are creating the object so simply object equal to new uh, bike and now obj dot get details so the classes are same as what we were doing in java right so classes are nothing but a syntactic sugar on the functions so javascript classes which is introduced in es6 primarily a syntactic sugar over javascript existing prototype based inheritance because now what we can do is we can have like class uh, you can say uh, automobile okay now you can actually create another class class car which is extending class car extends automobile and you can actually extend the when you are extending it you are already extending these methods right now you can also define the constructor for it in the constructor you can pass okay i have color i have a brand brand and name of the company so here i can call i can use a super keyword to call the parent class constructor and i can pass color and brand and third argument is this dot name is this dot name now i can create the object of the car right and object dot get details get details is accessible because this car is extending automobile class okay so this is what javascript classes are and it is nothing but it is doing the same thing which function prototypal inheritance was doing okay so now next important aspect in javascript is the ify block immediately invoking functional expression i i f e okay so how how we write if you block if you have you have seen this kind of expression in javascript where we are actually writing a self invoking function right so from this boundary you can see this function is able to invoke itself <coughs> so first time when you have seen this then it is it might look like little confusing but this is how it works now in this you can actually write your code console.log self execution happening or whatever you want so you can you can reveal anything from it okay this is actually an example of module pattern whenever you wanted to create a module pattern then you can use this if you block and you can also use use strict if you use it then it is whatever you are defining inside this is not conflicting with the global scope okay whatever you are defining inside it will have its limited scope inside these brackets okay another thing is understanding a scope which is another important point right what is scope in javascript uh, if you talk, talk about that scope in the definition then scope is nothing but scope is the accessibility of variable or a function or an object in particular part of the code during runtime right sometimes we say that variable is not available because it is outside the scope a function is not available or object is not available because that is outside the scope right so we have decided like we have categorized it like a global scope local scope all these different scopes are there if we talk about simple example then if i just create a war greetings i have simple hello world right and here i have created this the if you block which is nothing but a function okay and this is calling itself inside that if you are able to type something console.log so you can see this the scope of the greeting is still accessible you are able to able to access greetings variable inside it right 
Now consider that you are actually initializing this greetings variable here and trying to access it outside. If you are trying to access it outside, then you don't have this value here, right? That means the greetings is not available in this global scope. It is available local to this particular self invoking block. Now it is in the local scope. That's why it is not available outside this global scope. 